The Weiner Palace. So today's a workout and I'm going to do some lactate threshold testing. It's not an official lactate threshold test, but it's like a... Yeah. Spencer's been doing more of this lately and I just feel like it's really easy to like let my ego get in the way of running my actual threshold pace. So I just want to see like where it is and make sure that I'm doing it correctly, you know? But also, I've been doing most of my workouts on... The treadmill. At an extreme uphill grade. So, you know, I don't know how this will go. Please ignore that this is a mess back here. We don't need to talk about it, okay? Yeah. I am proud to announce that today's video is sponsored. Yeah. Uh, the sponsor of today's video is Shox headphones. Um, and I'm very excited because I wear headphones all the time, you know, taking Georgie on walks, going to the gym, biking, running, calling my parents, which I need to do. I'm sorry, mom and dad. And these are great for all of that. They are IP67 waterproof, so great for like sweating or when it's raining outside. They're not meant for swimming. Um, they have an eight hour battery life. And they also have a 10 minute quick charge function, which gives you an hour and a half of charge. Bone conduction headphones, so they don't actually go in your ear, so you can kind of like hear what's happening around you, but they get really loud, which is nice because I want loud music when I'm working out. And I have the Open Run Mini on right now. There's also another size of just the Open Run. Um, I like the Mini, it fits my head like this. So pretty snug, but the Open Run is for people that have not abnormally small heads. But I mean, even this one still fits me, so it's not a deal breaker whatsoever. So yeah, I like them. Would recommend. I'll link in the description. So check it out. Yeah. Um. So I'm doing threshold miles. I'm gonna start at six minute pace and then cut down by 10 seconds a mile and test my lactate. And I'm just gonna see like what happens to my lactate while I do that and kind of where that optimal threshold zone is. Thinking like five to six, five to six by a mile. We got Spencer with the lactate meter. Um, we may have messed up a couple times. We tested it out. It pro will probably mess up a couple times during this, but hopefully we get enough tests to get an idea. I warmed up like so thoroughly and then sat down for 10 minutes. So now I'm not quite as warm, but got my music, so let's go.
What pace is that? Definitely going up. I knew it would go up. What was your while? Uh, 525. Okay. a couple of the lactates but honestly it's just hard to get all of them like we're taking them from the ear and sometimes it just doesn't bleed as much as you want it to we got enough points to see kind of when my lactate my blood lactate started going up like at an exponential rate and I just kept increasing the pace a little bit every mile and it's crazy like I could feel it when I came back I, I would know that like the lactate had gone up um, and it doesn't take a crazy change in pace to make that happen, which is kind of cool. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to like graph out these data points and see what it looks like and just use those to figure out kind of where that lactate threshold pace is. But yeah, overall it's just cool to kind of see some data and uh, like be able to connect it to how I was feeling in the workout. So I got this whiteboard a while ago um, because I wanted to be able to use it. And official. This is my lactate threshold data graphed. I also made it on Excel, but I wanted to use the whiteboard. So here we are. Anyways, I included another point here because we actually took my, my lactate after the warm up and it was 1.2. So it doesn't really count, but it makes the graph look better. I connected the points to make a curve. And from that, we could kind of guess that my lactate threshold is right about here because this is where it starts curving up. Now, lactate threshold is the point at which your body starts producing more lactate than it's able to buffer, which is why the blood levels of lactate rise, which you see in these increased numbers. So when I put a line through all of these, you can see that right about here is where that lactate threshold is for me. So based off of that, my lactate threshold is probably around 535, which makes sense because Another way they decide what lactate threshold is, just like the standard value, is when blood levels go over 2.5 millimoles per liter. And at 535, my blood levels were 2.4. So it's about where the threshold is, which is good to know if I'm doing mile repeats at threshold or Ks at threshold or threshold runs, that should be the pace I'm doing until I test it again in the future and find out that I've improved that. Anyways, 
Thank you for coming to my lesson today. I hope you enjoyed my whiteboard.